Hey guys, so just like any other proper unboxing, I have the user manual here. It includes a turntable, a counterweight, a power cord slash RCA cable, a 45 RPM adapter, a desk cover, a non-woven mat, and this guide. So here, everything is here. We have um, everything here as well in the cover and some pieces that we're going to have to connect. Not sure exactly what this is yet, but we'll definitely get into this. It's a stretch belt around the central circular track on bottom of the metal platter. It's already there. Make sure the belt is not installed twisted. Use your thumb to stretch the belt reaching around the whole platter in this illustration. Flip over the platter and don't forget to keep holding the belt. Then insert the platter onto the center spindle. Get this and set it down. Okay, I think I did it. I'm not sure if I twisted it though, so I did twist it. So it's important not to twist it. I need to do it flat, like that. Okay, great. Now we're supposed to place the turntable mat on the platter. So this is the mat. I don't know if it matters what side. I guess we'll do this side. You could probably tip it over if you don't want to see Heyday, so that's on there. And now it's time to insert the dust cover hinges into the hinge bases on the back panel of the unit and hold the dust cover and insert it into the hinges. Okay, we have the hinges here that we need to put on the back of the unit. The back is right there. And so I'm guessing I just this part needs to go in. So let me take you closer. I'm just going to push that in there. Okay, like that. And then push this one in as well. Like that. All right. I think that got the job done. Let me go check. Make sure this looks like it's in securely. Nope, it's in securely. So now, let's take the dust cover and stick it on top. I'm trying to line it up. Okay, it's not exactly snapping into place. There we go. See that? It's going on really easily now. I think we're all the way on. Make sure. Okay, so we close like this and open. And open. That's us, but that's as much as it'll open. Okay, great. Adjust the counterweight. So we have the counterweight right here. Let's get it out of this bag. The counterweight adjusts the pressure of the needle. If the pressure is too much, the sound will become distorted. 
If the pressure is too little, track skipping will happen more frequently. At this point, any fine tuning adjustment can be made by simply turning the counterweight very slightly clockwise or counterclockwise. Locate the counterweight at the back of the tone arm. So, okay, it's there. And this is the tone arm. It says detach the stylus cover. What you're looking at here is the back of the tone arm. Um, where there's a weight. This weight actually comes off and if you, when you buy your turntable, it might actually need to be installed. So go ahead and do that. This weight has two parts to it. It has the actual weight itself. You can see that it all turns at the same time. And then it's got this front part, which turns separately, as you can see. Okay, and that's going to allow us to calibrate the tone arm. All right, so don't worry where all these things are right now. What we're gonna do first is balance the tone arm. So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to create a zero tracking force, which means that the tone arm will be completely balanced, okay? And as you can see right now, it's not balanced. It's abs actually um, heavy. You have to remember to exercise extreme caution while you're doing this. You have to remove the stylus guard if it comes off. If yours doesn't come off, then don't worry about it. Unplug your turntable. Make sure it's not going to turn on or start turning or spinning when this is going on because you could, again, you could damage your stylus. So what are we going to do? We're going to balance the tone arm. So we turn the weight at the back. Oh, okay, so we've gone too far, right? So we'll go back a little bit. And you're turning the back of the weight, not the front part that turns separately. The back of the weight is what you want to, the actual weight itself. Okay, so I'm gonna, and also make sure your cue level, your lever is down and you can get a good representation. Also wanna set your, your anti-skating to zero so that it doesn't move around. And that's pretty good. I think I can do a little better than that. Let me just see. Now it's balanced, okay? Now we move to the next step. The next thing you wanna do is clamp your tone arm down so it doesn't move around. I have to detach this maybe? Oh yeah, there's a twisty on it. Protect it, okay. And then if I detach this, I think I have to put this on first. I have to like really push this on, like does it go over this button? Yeah, it does. So there was a tiny button here that I had to press to make it go in. So now it's kind of weighting it. I noticed that they had some tape around the cartridge. So I went ahead and pulled that tape off and then they had this little plastic tab on here as well. It says pull, so I figured I was supposed to take it off. So I just had to pull it right off. You can't pull down, but you have to pull straight out. So that's taken care of. So you guys, I figured it out. What you have to do is you have to turn this entire thing to adjust the weight. I was only turning the black part but the weight is moves up and down this and the more of the weight is on this lever, the heavier this becomes and the closer it gets. So as you can see now, I've adjusted it to be like right where the record would be. So it's perfectly parallel. So they say now I should go here and turn the dial to zero. Now that the tone arm has been balanced, what we wanna do is calibrate. Don't turn the weight itself just turn this little ring on the front, bring it down to zero. And I'm gonna actually get up close and look, make sure it's at zero, because it's hard to see through the camera. And there it is at zero. Okay, so you see now I've turned the black dial only to be zero, so now it's calibrated to be right on where it needs to be. So that's perfect. So basically you've calibrated the tone arm and so now you have to know the tracking force of your cartridge. So let's say this cartridge, I think they recommend somewhere around two grams. There's usually a range. Um, 
briefly we should talk about this sometimes they'll say anywhere between 1.5 and 2.5 grams or between 1.3 and 1.8 something like that I would aim for somewhere in the middle to start with so if it's 1.5 to 2.5 we're gonna put it at 2 so let's adjust this to 2 grams okay so with the tone arm balanced and this front ring set to 0 like it is we turn the counterweight up to two grams and there it is don't touch the front part now that's already set and calibrated just use the back part set it to two grams and there you go okay so now we're going to be able to unlock the tone arm and we'll be able to see that in fact yes it is there is some weight on it that it has a tendency to want to go inward so if you put a record on here with no grooves on it and you put this down it's going to go to the center there's a counter action to that and that's called anti-skate so if it wants to skate into the middle you want to anti-skate it this turntable has a control called anti-skating it's right beside the tone arm pivot and the rule of thumb is to set the anti-skating to the same as the stylus pressure which I've just done so I've set it to two and now I need to plug it in to the wall and let's see if we can get it to play <laughs> so here's the cord So I got it all plugged in. It was pretty easy to do. Let's open it back up. So since we have the small hole in the middle, that's a 33. And so we don't need like the special 45 adapter. I'm going to come over here and turn this to 33. I will be using analog speakers on this. I have a whole surround sound system that I'm going to plug into this. But for now, we're going to try the Bluetooth feature in case you just have a Bluetooth speaker. Let's go ahead and try the pairing. It says on the turntable, press the Bluetooth button once. Okay, it's blinking. And then it says wait five seconds and press the Bluetooth again to search for your Bluetooth speaker. While searching, the Bluetooth indicator will flash. So let me turn my speaker on. And let me make this discoverable as well. Okay. Did it connect? So they're both flashing. I think that means they're both searching. Okay. As you can see, this red light has turned on and that means that it did not successfully pair. So let's try it one more time. We're going to press this button here. It's blinking. We're going to turn the speaker on. We're going to make it discoverable. And then I think you have to press this one more time. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I can't tell you guys if <laughs> to, that I recommend this for Bluetooth speakers, <laughs> which is what all of the other reviews said as well. But fortunately, I have analog speakers. Just thinking about it, I could try turning the Bluetooth off on all of my other devices just in case that's interfering as well. All right, I'm gonna do that and come back. Okay, so I turned off all of my Bluetooth devices. So hopefully it works now. It's supposed to make a noise. Okay, so unfortunately you can see that it has a red light again. It did not pair with my Bluetooth speaker, so 
I would have to say that the reviews are right. It doesn't pair with the speaker well. So good luck with that if that's what you're relying on. If you have an analog option, then you should hopefully be good to go. I'll have to try that. I can't let you go, baby. I'm so excited. I got the record player going. It sounds amazing. I plugged in my analog speakers, so it's definitely the way to go. I mean, I absolutely love it. I definitely suggest getting the Heyday turntable if you're down to plug it up to some analog speakers. I'm sure it's better sound than a Bluetooth anyway. I'm so glad that I finally got my very own turntable. I'm super excited to play all of these vintage records and I hope you guys are able to get one too. I'll put the link down below if you're interested in getting this exact table, but if you choose another one, I hope this video you found very helpful to get it set up and going in no time. Until next time, bye!